So let's just summarize and do a quick uh, review of this topic of hysteresis loops. So the top picture shows an electromagnet, and you can see that in the iron core, the domains that are shown are almost totally aligned. And so there may be a point that we can see in the uh, lower image that suggests that the um, iron is nearly saturated in terms of its magnetization. So if you wanted to bring the magnetic domains back into a random alignment, in other words, demagnetize the iron, you don't just bring the external field to zero. That would still maintain some magnetization. You need to reverse the direction of the magnetic field. In other words, you'd have to run current in the opposite direction for a while, and then the magnetization would be brought down to zero. And if you continued to run that current in the opposite direction, make it even stronger, then you can develop a alignment of the domains that points back in the opposite direction, and you'd ultimately reach some saturation when the iron has been magnetized in the reverse direction, meaning instead of having a north-south, when you make the current flow in the other direction, then we switch it to the opposite alignment. And then if you wanted to, again, get rid of those magnetic poles and demagnetize it, you don't just bring the magnetic field to zero, you have to bring the current back in the original direction, and on and on we go. And if the loop has this broad, wide shape to it, that means you have to really do a lot of strong reversal of the applied external field to create these changes in the magnetization. And so that describes materials that would make actually for a good permanent magnet. This would not be very good uh, for the core of your electromagnet. It would be much better to have a, a hysteresis loop in um, shape C as the core for your electromagnet. So I have another video where I've taken something known as a uh, Thomson coil, and I take one of these magnets, and I believe the magnet I'm using is one called an Alnico magnet. So Alnico magnets are hybrids of aluminum, nickel, and cobalt, and both nickel and cobalt are ferromagnetic materials. So I take this Alnico bar magnet, and even though it's permanently etched with north and south, because it's been placed in and out of a really powerful electromagnet over and over again, these uh, magnetic um, uh, labels don't really mean anything anymore. And in fact, if I were to take this and place it into the Thomson coil, into this powerful solenoid, and hold it there for a while with the current flowing in the solenoid, then when I remove it, it's a permanent magnet. However, if I put this Alnico magnet into the Thomson coil, and while the current is flowing in the Thomson coil, I very rapidly swipe the magnet and pull it out. Then I completely demagnetize it. And you can watch that video and see that I can magnetize and demagnetize an Alnico magnet um, by uh, altering the external magnetic field controlled by the current. And maybe that'll help you relate to this idea of hysteresis loops.